I'll be going through the answers quickly, so make sure your course book is open in front of you, and please stop and rewind the video as you need to. So, got your book open in front of you? Are your answers in capitals? Want to know why the answers are the answers? Then let's go. For question number one, we've got to have a look at the language structure here to give us the clues which tell us what kind of word we need here. We've got the article before the gap, and after the gap, some way into the distance, we've got the noun to which that refers. Just before that noun, we can see that there is an adjective, and this is a superlative adjective, longest lasting. Before that, we've got a conjunction, so what we've got here has got to be fit into the language pattern that already exists. So we've got article blank, conjunction, superlative, plus noun. What is it that we need here? You're absolutely right, we need a superlative as well, and here the answer is earliest. Question number two, easy peasy lemon squeezy, before the gap we've got an article, we don't have the noun to which that refers, so here we've got to fit in the noun, but we've also, as always, got to pay attention to the context. Here we don't just need a noun, we need a personal noun, because we're describing the type of person that this person was. In other words, he was an inventor, and that's the answer. Question number three, a few language patterns to be aware of. First of all, used by is always going to be followed by a noun of some kind, and in most cases it's going to be a personal noun as well. And that's, of course, what we need here if we have a look at the context. Also, before the gap, we've got two adjectives that modify a missing noun. So what is the noun that we need? Well, of course, we need a plural personal noun, and it is researchers. For question number four, we've really got to put on our vocabulary hats here to finish the expression, to come into plus something. The context tells us that the internet hasn't been invented and won't be invented for another two decades, I think it is. So we're waiting for it to come into plus noun existence. For question number five, let's have a look at the verb here and think about it in the general sense to understand what type of word we need here. The context is that someone is trying to do something using something in order to do it. Well, that something in this particular case is going to be a noun of some kind. And looking at the stem word, it's clear that the answer is going to be equipment. Question number six, once again, easy peasy language structure. We've got an adjective before the gap, but we don't have the noun that the adjective is modifying. We've got an article before the adjective, but we don't have the noun to which that article refers. Of course, we have to provide the noun here, and the noun is collection. For number seven, let's just have a look at the phrasal verb first. To take on someone. Well, to take on someone is to employ someone. If we have a look before the gap, we can of course see there's an indefinite article which tells us that this is going to be an uncountable, well, not an uncountable noun, but a singular noun. And of course, given the context that we're presented with, it's going to be a personal singular noun. What's the answer we're looking for? Assistant. He employed an assistant. For question number eight, we've got two adjectives before the gap which lead us to believe that we're going to need a plural noun here. Typing and proofreading what? Naturally, it's going to lend itself to a plural noun, and of course the answer is going to be responsibilities.